What is up Madden NFL 25 gamers? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This YouTube channel discusses Madden NFL 25 and NCAA 14 football tips, tricks, strategies, tactics, gameplays, money plays, blitzes, all sorts of things related to those two games. So if you enjoy those two games, you might find this channel useful. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be discussing how to beat the zone defense in Madden NFL 25. Also guys, before we get started with the video, I want to go ahead and make a quick little uh, shameless plug here. If you guys go over to twitch.tv slash cnballard, I'll have a link in the description and I will have a link in the annotation. You guys can check out my live stream. My live stream goes live every single day uh, on every single weekday from 6 o'clock p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So if you guys want to check out some free tips, watch some gameplays, see me play some tough competition, head over to that stream and go ahead and follow my channel. But for today, we're going to be showing you how to beat zone defense in Madden NFL 25. The key to beating zone defense in Madden 25 is to have a trips formation, whether it be to the right or the left is up to you, and whether it be from a compressed trips like a bunch or a spread trips like a flip trips or a trips halfback week. Any of these will do. I personally consider the bunch to be the best way to beat zone defense in Madden 25. What do you want to look for? What kind of routes do you want? Well, the Z spot is probably the best most flexible zone beater in the game. You want to look for routes and plays that have a, p a corner route or a post route. Those are the two key ingredients to beating zone defense in Madden 25, corner routes and post routes. You could create everything else you need with hot routes. For the Z spot, we see that the Z spot has a post and a corner route. So we're going to select it. Okay guys, we're going to go against some random plays here because random plays typically are zone in Madden 25's practice mode system. Alright. So the first hot route or adjustment we want to do is we want to take Jermichael Finley here. We want to put him on a in route, a deep in route. You want to smart route that in route, okay? And then the next thing we want to do is we want to take Jordy Nelson. And we can either put him on a zig, we can put him on a flat, we could put him on, we could even leave him on the spot route. But for this example, I'm going to go ahead and put Jordy Nelson on a flat pattern. What we want to do with Jordy Nelson is we want to motion him to the right side of the screen. Now this is simply for speed and, 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 and all that. And also, real quickly, we want to take Eddie Lacy and we want to put him on a wheel route. Okay? We're going to bring Jordy Nelson back to the line of scrimmage. We want to snap before he sets. Now you see there's a flat defender, but there's no purple defender, so we're going to take that deep corner route with a pass lead up. That was actually a cover two play. So really quickly, I want to show you an instant replay, the route progression here. Our first read every time is going to be this quick snap throw to Finley. If that's covered, that's going to mean one of two things. They're either in a cover two defense, they have a flat zone, or they're in manned up. So a cover two defense has a flat zone, a cover three defense sometimes has a flat zone, um, sometimes even a cover six might have a flat zone. And so that's going to lead us to our next read, which is this corner route upfield. And the corner route will be covered if they have a purple zone. Sometimes in man coverage it may get covered. Um, or if they have like a, a hook zone or like a cover two sink. And if, if this route is covered, then we're going to go to our third read, which is Jermichael Finley breaking over the middle. Now here, against this specific defense, he's not open. But if, if they have a defense where they're going to try to cover Randall Cobb and Jordy Nelson, then Finley's going to be open across the middle. If Finley's not open, our final read is going to be to Jared Boykin coming across the middle for a horizontal, or excuse me, a vertical passing concept, or what what I like to call a levels concept, where you have a, a you're trying to stretch this defender, whoever's going to guard Finley, make him make a choice between Boykin and Finley, who he's going to take. Okay, and then our final read. Uh, just as something, and we can always swing it out to the back if we don't like what we see post-snap. Okay, so that's the play progression. We'll show you some, some examples here real quickly. Uh, but this is a very good play. If you cannot smart route Jermichael Finley, you might consider putting him on a slant route or just putting him on a curl route. Anything will do. And here we go. We're going to run this, run through these plays a couple times. Off coverage, probably going to be a cover four. Motion back in here. No one goes with the flat with Jordy Nelson, so I could take it and get a quick five, six yards. The reason we like to motion snap Finley is because it gets it, it makes his flat route a little bit more effective, in my opinion. Okay, so here we're going to run through this a couple more times here. Bring Jordy Nelson back across formation, like so. 
Here they're actually in man coverage. We can pass lead up that corner route against cover zero, and Randall Cobb will toast uh, that that man-to-man uh, -man coverage if they ever try to go cover zero, which is why we like to use corner routes and post routes because not only do they do a good job of beating zone, they also help us when we want to beat man-to-man. -man. Here again, no flat defender. I can easily take that 5, 10 yards to Jordy Nelson. Okay, and then uh, we're going to wrap it up here a couple more. We're going to probably do two or three more plays here. Hopefully this is a cover two sink. So here, corner routes not open, not open, and then we go to our in route, and it actually beat man coming across. That time was a two man under. Okay, we're going to go through this again. Motion Jordy, and we're going to bring him back across formation like so. Snap here. Not there, not there, not there. And this time, you see, let me show you what he was in. This is pretty important. This is a cover three. This is one of the best defenses in the game uh, from a stock standpoint. One of the best defenses in the game is a cover three with a buzz zone. Here he's going to leave the flat. That deep zone is kind of playing that corner right. You see that? At this point, I could probably hit Jermichael Finley, but he's going to take a big hit. But look who's going to come wide open. That deep post is going to come wide open for a pass lead down to the inside. And I should have hit him on that play. Unfortunately, the defensive lineman got in there and, and disrupted my timing. So here we're going to take a look again. And see there's that deep post. Uh, and there's why it's one of the better routes in the game. So that's how we like to use all of these routes. Um, and then real quick, how do we like to use the running back? Well, sometimes we'll just key that linebacker on that left side, Alden Smith here. And we'll key onto him. And if he, you know, doesn't go out or something, then we, can, we just know we can hit the running back. If he does go with the running back, obviously we're just going to immediately go back to that flat route. But uh, this play does very good, especially with timing. And I hope that this is going to provide some insight on how I like to beat zone defense in Madden 25 and maybe help you guys beat zone defense in Madden 25 uh, for your future games. Thanks for watching today, guys. Be sure to check out that twitch.tv link. Also, guys, if you will please... Um, we had some problems with the PlayStation 4 recording. Uh, we're, we've got that fixed now. And so I'm going to be working on an ebook. If you guys are interested in an ebook, just leave a comment. Let me know uh, what kind of things you would like to see in it. All right, guys. Thanks for your time today. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys can use this video to better your game in Man 25.